Mike Lindell was asked about his claim regarding Donald Trump being reinstated on August 13th. That date is quickly approaching. So what happened? Well, apparently he told Vice, quote, nobody said that, 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 okay? I think this interview is over. Cool, that's actually quite a U-turn from what he had actually been saying. Let's watch. By the time August 3rd, the morning of August 13th, it'll be the talk of the world going, hurry up, let's get this election pulled down, let's write the right. Let's get these communists out, of, you know, that they've taken over. That the, and you'll see when I say that, you know, um, and they'll say, "Well, what's going to happen to all the people that were involved?" I don't know. Right now, the biggest concern is getting this election pulled down. Donald Trump won. I mean, that's it's pretty simple, okay? And there were many down ticket senators too that they did too and stuff. You'll find all that out. I mean, that's just one example. It's not like he said it all the time, did he? Like in this video. What I'm talking about, Steve, is what I have been doing since January 9th. All the evidence I have, everything is going to go before the Supreme Court and the election of 2020 is going bye bye. I, it was an attack by other country, communism coming in. I don't know what they're going to do with what after they pull it down, but it's. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hold hang on. Hold on. Hang, Donald hang, Trump will go, be go back ahead. in office in August. <laughs> All right. Nobody uh, said that. Nobody said that. Nobody now, said that. <laughs> Nobody said that. Nobody said that. Now, <laughs> dude, you're on tape. You don't know you're on tape. <laughs> So he's hosting a cyber symposium in South Dakota to call out what he refers to as fake elections. Lindell has claimed that his symposium will show that he was given data by unknown individuals on mm. January 9th mm. that he has called packet captures. Mm. I okay. call them pocket captures, but teach his own. <laughs> a technical format for capturing web traffic. Lindell says the data shows the Chinese Communist Party interfered in the election results in all 50 states, China Gate. Lindell is offering the cyber guys a bounty of $5 million to disprove his claim that the packet captures came from the November elections. Now, uh, that claim has already been proven to be bogus. I, I mean, you don't really have to do much legwork to, to disprove uh, what Lindell is saying there. And um, Cenk, why don't you jump in before we give you more from this uh, yeah. S show of a symposium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, symposium, <laughs> <laughs> nobody said that. Uh, <laughs> so there's a bunch of things, of course, I'm amused by here. Uh, number one is January 9th, some rando walks up to him and goes, these are, but Mike, don't tell anyone. These are packet captures. <gasps> and he's like, Ooh. did you say packet captures? And he's like, what is that? He's like, it shows the elections. Packet captures, that's it, the election was stolen, I knew it, I knew it. Because they want to believe the thing that they came in believing. Uh, as they thought for sure, a million percent that Trump was gonna win. So when he doesn't, they need the packet captures and they need the massive dumps. And they need the Kraken and, and, and Trump kept on, oh, we got massive dumps. Wait till you see our dumps. Okay, the dumps will prove that it was stolen. <laughs> Nothing ever proves that it was stolen because it wasn't. And I like their idiosyncrasies. Like, I like when he leans in and goes, "It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple." And I like to see Steve Bannon's trying to cut him off so he doesn't get sued. Yeah. And then, and then finally, he's like, oh, "Go ahead." <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to this uh, cyber symposium, uh, which was mostly viewed by QAnon conspiracy theorists and stuff really? like that, of course. Now, uh, the event happened to be a disaster. I mean, who could have seen that coming? Nobody, though, right? Could have seen it coming. Um, the whole point was to talk about how the voting system was hacked. Um, and it ended up starting super, super late because, well, why don't we hear from Lindell himself? Why did it start super late? This was attacked, Our, the whole technology was attacked, we expected that, but we do have a backup plan. It's still, it'll be probably another five minutes. And um, I want all of you guys, or all you guys to know that out there, that this is why, because I need to get the word out. We can't even get the word out to the people that are prankspeech.com because they blocked the thing, or blocked the thing. Um, but this is part of what I'm going to talk about today. This is the cover up. This is the absolute cover up of this, of the worst crime in history. Now I'll show you over here. You see this data that's running there. That's cyber data from the, from what I've got. Let's see if it's moving. 
Um, yeah, it's not it's not rotating yet, but but there's that are going an endless stream for days. There are four grown men on that stage behind him. They agreed to be part of that. They agreed to be part of that. Four grown men. Um, that's it. I mean, that's really the only takeaway. There's four grown men <laughs> on that stage that's your main who are away. listening to a <laughs> lunatic say lunatic things. And they're like, yeah, no, uh, we've we've chosen to spend our free time here. Yeah, so we had a technical difficulty last night on old school. And now I realize what it is, packet captures. It was the packet captures <laughs> Yeah, yeah for of sure. course, it was, I'm just trying to figure out which government tapped into old school, because this is a very dangerous podcast. So I, I, I've got my money on Russia, 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 okay? <laughs> he said it, he said it's Russia. No, just calm down, I'm kidding, okay? <laughs> but for him, he thinks it's perfectly normal. He has a tech problem because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing, right? And he immediately thinks, is it China or Venezuela? He's selling pillows. <laughs> That's what he does, he sells pillows He's for selling living. pillows, guys. He talked about his promo code in the context of the symposium, like multiple times. He wants to sell pillows, that's yeah. it. We, we live in America, do we not know this yet? We live in America. Everything is about selling something. Either selling yourself, selling your product, selling whatever. It's you're just selling pillows. Yeah. That's it, that's all this is. That's what Mike Lindell does, he sells pillows, people. You know what Mike Lindell is, he's big pillow. Okay, we got problems with big oil in Florida. They care, they're constantly dealing with big sugar. Now we got big pillow. He's a big dork, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, you know, here's one other fun moment from this cyber symposium where he uh, wanted to where he wanted to <laughs> weigh in on uh, symposium. <laughs> let's, well, let's watch what he has to say about Brazil's president. We have the um, president's son Eduardo coming here. Personal, if I say it right, Bar. Barca, how you say it, Bar <laughs> Barcelona, Barcelona, Barca yeah. Bol Bolsonaro. Okay, Bolsonaro. Uh, he's going to be coming here to speak. Yeah, no, he nailed it. That was great. Uh, you know, <laughs> great. Bolsonaro's family member coming to speak at the cyber symposium. I'm sure he was great. I'm sure he was great. <laughs> we got this guy coming, on Eduardo. Okay, uh, this is a boss, a boss, a boss, a boss, or something. Okay, Bolsonaro, I don't know, something. Does okay. learning Bolsonaro's <laughs> name help him sell pillows? And if the answer is no, he's not gonna go out of his way to learn Bolsonaro's name or who Bolsonaro even is. Like, so, Look, I, I struggle with uh, pronouncing names. This is a well-known fact. And, uh, and in fact, one of our members said they changed their name based on one of my mispronunciations. That, that was a bad decision. <laughs> well, I love I you love for I love you guys, I love you don't for do that. Okay, but if you're like your big guest at the symposium is Bolsonaro's cousin's aunt's sister, okay? Mm -hmm. And Bolsonaro is not that hard, I can do Bolsonaro. I think you can manage Bolsonaro, right? Is it Bolsa, 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 Bolsa? Okay, well, I mean, and to stop, be fair, and stop at some point and ask. Intellectual heavyweights do mispronounce Bolsonaro's name on a regular basis, people like, Dave Rubin, who called him Bolsonaro. <laughs> so, is it a right wing thing? Is that you guys struggle with that particular name? Um, anyways, uh, look, I think what happened is it's pretty simple. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he, I could just see him saying, "Damn it, Jim, I don't do tech. I do pillows." <laughs> oh, he does pillows. Uh, yeah, there's some chance, Mike, that you should have stuck with the pillows. Um, you might be in a little over your. No, it's you know why? Yeah, because they're down. Oh, we're here all week, fortunately or unfortunately. Pillows with feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! If we keep this up, he might be mad at us, and we'd have a pillow fight. <laughs> 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 Look, you don't want to mess with Big Pillow. You never know what happens. You never know what happens. You yeah. know what? I'm really proud that I got to share my expert analysis and commentary on this story with you all. Yeah, well, I, when you told me we we're going to break down a symposium, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> right wing, come on. It's like, look, guys, if it looks like we're laughing at you, we kind of are. Right. Oh, we should work with the right wing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. We love you. You'll you'll get better. You'll get better. Okay. Uh, get a good night's nice sleep. Um, but but Blanket seriously, and a binky. For yeah, sure. guys, this is not a symposium. There are no packet captures. They went to court sixty times. There's no evidence. We love you. Get some help. That's all. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.